would say my musical style is house and all its varieties in a more sophisticated manner. Um, deep house primarily, tech house, recently more minimal and techno for later on, progressive house. I should also mention that I play um, lounge type music, broken beat, um, new disco, uh, new jazz, uh, new blues, tribal, world music, this kind of thing. I first came to Bangkok in 19, sorry, 2002, not that long ago, and uh, needed something to do. I had a bit of experience with DJing and promotions back in Canada and thought that I could give it a go. A friend of mine said, you have to come check out this new club called Club Zinc. This was back in Hull, Quebec in Canada. And before that I was listening to like 70s music and rock and stuff. And I entered the club and it was just an amazing scene. Uh, just this massive sound system bumping this 4x4 beat. And I remember the track, it was, uh, I think it was Adonis, Work It To The Bone, Work It To The Bone, Bone, Bone. I was just like, God, what is this? Everyone's like jacking and never heard music like this before. But my first commercial exposure was uh, at Bed Supper Club, actually, uh, and the reason is is that my buddy that got me into DJing, uh, Tony, which I might have mentioned earlier, uh, used to work there, and he's like, okay, Eddie, this Saturday, um, it was sort of a, a lounge, deep house, pre-party set. He's like, I'm not gonna be here, so this is your chance, man. You can mix, you're good enough. Substitute for me, I'll put a good word in for you. So yeah, I showed up, and I, was, um, I wasn't nervous, actually. I wasn't nervous, I was like, it, it, it it just felt right, you know. It's something that's I've been, I've been wanting to do, and the music I've been listening to for 15 years at that point, and uh, it was okay. It was a bit rough, but the way I looked at it is that if you guys think it's so easy, you come and do it. And I know they can't do it. It's a tough thing to do, and uh, the gig went all right, and they let me come back, so that was a good thing, and I had a lot of fun. I think that was around 2004, 2005. And I bought um, this track called Too Hot by Sibo K on Mobley Records. Kind of techno, tech house, and this really dark, growly voice. Too hot. You know, it was, it was cool. Um, and then, uh, of course, stuck with vinyl for a few years, but it just became impractical. And at that point, everyone switched over to CDs. And now, eventually, laptops. But I still miss the days of touching a piece of vinyl and smelling it as it came out of the, the sleeve. <sighs> I would say the crowd in Bangkok is more uh, attuned to hip-hop or more commercial type house, as are most places. But there definitely are people here that want to hear some underground music. There's some really, really good uh, DJs that play uh, less accessible music. Uh, I always say I'd rather have 50 people that are into my music than two or three hundred that are apathetic, standing around, checking their phones and picking people up. People go to clubs for different reasons. Uh, I, I want the people that come to clubs to hear music. And I don't need a lot. As I said, just a small amount that's really into it is enough to make my night. Because I don't play the most accessible music at times, uh, people are unhappy with that and want to hear what music they want to hear and come up and ask for requests. Um, I have a few strategies. Um, well, the first one is to ignore them, but they're very persistent. So uh, at bed, there's, there's two rooms, and one room usually plays more commercial, one room plays a little bit more underground. And so a way that sort of works for everybody is to say, well, the other, other room's playing a bit more accessible music, perhaps you should try that. And they're like, oh, okay, they check it out. Or I'll say, uh, or on, I'll say at bed, supper club, hip hop's on Tuesdays and Fridays. Why don't you come back then and they can service your needs on Tuesdays or Fridays, that sort of works. But there's some people that just won't accept no or a deflection for an answer. And uh, then you have to get a little bit more aggressive. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, I've said some things that I, I regret, but you know, when you're trying to work and there's someone in your face asking for uh, the latest commercial track, you just have to tell them to go away <laughs> or call security. I had one girl actually came when I wouldn't play hip hop. She actually came and stole my CD case 
and took off and was flipping through it, looking through some for some hip hop tracks. And I had to get, I was mixing, I couldn't mix my next track. And I had to send the security guard after this girl to get my CD case back, so it can be difficult. I would say the, the DJs or producers that really inspired me originally were uh, primarily DJ Garth and the Wicked Crew from San Francisco. And of course Laurent Gagné uh, is just unbelievable. Um, no one plays that, like that guy as far as inspiration, um, uh, diversity. Um, and recently, recently, uh, Crosstown Rebels label, just incredible artists like uh, Maceo Plex and uh, Damien Lazarus. And, those guys are just awesome. Uh, Noir, the Noir label, uh, DJ Noir, um, uh, DJ T, uh, all these guys um, are, are just playing really amazing music and, and, and are being successful at it, being booked, huge gigs, uh, which proves that underground music is still alive. For any prospective DJs or somebody that's looking to get into it, I would say don't get into it if you want to make money. 99% of the people aren't making, making money. The, the reason why you do it is because of a deep love for, for, for house music or whatever kind of music you want to play. Um, it's, it's a lot of uh, effort, a lot of competition, difficult to get gigs, difficult to make money as I mentioned. Um, so the only thing that, that pushes you, keeps you going is, uh, is those moments where the crowd identifies with what you love. Uh, again, there's distractions, tons of distractions, you know, people, you know, uh, partying and, and, and women and, and other political things, but just, just keep true to yourself and um, the crowd can sense that. The crowd can really feel if, if you love what you're doing and that's the most infectious uh, and best way to, to rise to the top. You got to produce music. You have to make your own music. The, gone are the days of, uh, of DJs only. There's, there's too many DJs. The sync button on Tractor has uh, made anybody able to play. You have to distinguish yourself in some way, either in how you, not only how you play with passion, but also in the music that you make. That will earn you respect from club owners, from other DJs, from other promoters, from audiences. Uh, start early, make your own music. Uh, some goals for for the coming year is to integrate um, some more controller, controllerism into my DJ sets. Uh, I use Tractor now without the sync on. Um, and I'm looking at the new F1 and maybe getting an X1 as well, just to uh, add some more interactivity with my own music, which I think the crowd can feed off of. Also, uh, on, on these crazy smartphones, you can get uh, MIDI software. Uh, I saw James Abila play about a Two months ago and he was incredibly inspiring as far as uh, how controllerism can really excite the crowd more than just regular DJing so also to get back in the studio put some more time into it uh, many tracks that need to be uh, finished off uh, working with a few uh, singers one is uh, Yolanda Van Zeeland she just did um, sort of a rock uh, I guess sort of top uh, pop cut up track that she wants me to do uh, a tougher house remix to and this other really, really talented singer, songwriter, pianist, uh, her name is Dara Loy, I think it is. She's awesome and I really want to try and get her on some, on some tracks. I'm lucky, very lucky to have a residency at Bet Supper Club. They gave me my first start almost eight years ago and I've been, uh, again, very lucky to be with them until today. As far as seeing me regularly, uh, I play uh, every Wednesday and Friday at Bed Supper Club. Um, Wednesdays 12 to 3. Uh, I try to play more underground music, more sophisticated music to offer a juxtaposition of some of the other uh, more accessible music that's being played. So uh, if you like underground beats, please come and support me at Bed Supper Club Wednesdays.